welcome to Sunday Science, where we show you how to do really simple experiments with things that you can find around your own home. My name's Hazel, and today I'm going to show you how to make pH pasta, a simple household pH indicator you can use to do your own easy chemical tests in your house. In order to do this experiment, you're going to need some pasta, some powdered turmeric, a bowl to put the pasta in, a saucepan and a sieve with some boiling water. You're going to need a few containers in order to put your substances that you want to test in, two teaspoons and some substances that you want to test. Now these can be any substances around your own house um, within reason, obviously we don't want to choose anything that's too dangerous. And I've chosen four things that I think should give me some different pH results when we're finished with the experiment. So I've chosen lemon juice, vinegar, uh, stain remover and bicarbonate of soda. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually cook your pasta. So grab a hold of your saucepan, get some boiling water and get ready to cook your pasta. Now you can cook as much as you want, as much as you think you're going to need to test. But I think that really all you need is about a handful's worth, about as much as you'd normally cook for one normal sized portion. That will give you quite a lot of pasta and you'll be able to test it in lots of different substances. Too much pasta and you start to dilute the turmeric, which is the thing that we really want to make this experiment work. So let's start with cooking the pasta. Once your pasta has been strained and cooled if you waited for it to cool down or wash through the water, Pop it back into the pan because this is where you're going to add your turmeric. Now you want to be really careful with turmeric. As you can see, it is a very bright colour. So if you're wearing any clothes that you're worried might get damaged, better pop an apron on or something, a lab coat if you have it handy, just to keep your clothes protected in case of stain. Then what you want to do is take two teaspoonfuls of the turmeric and pop it into the pan. Stir it into the pasta. Try and make sure that you're getting the pasta really evenly coated in the turmeric. If there's a little bit of water still in there, this will help the turmeric to soak into the pasta. By the time you finish mixing, the pasta should be entirely coated in the turmeric in a kind of paste and should have gone a kind of a mustard yellow color. Once you've got the pasta into the tray in front of you and it's cool enough for you to touch and fully coated in the turmeric, we don't want any burnt fingers even though they are going to go a bit yellow, it's time to start testing our substances. So what you want to do is really carefully take each of your substances and put it into one of your glass um, or containers, whichever one you use. Try to make sure that you don't forget which one is in which. substances in their jars and we know which one is which which is really important we can start testing them now the whole reason that turmeric pasta works as a pH indicator is because turmeric itself the spice that goes into those curries is a natural pH indicator it changes color when it comes into contact with certain pHs um, so for example if the pH of a substance is around 7 or less aka a neutral or an acid material, then the turmeric and the pasta shouldn't change colour, it should stay this kind of pale yellow to mustard colour. If however the turmeric pasta, the pH pasta, comes into contact with something which has a pH of around 8 or higher, as in either an alkali or a base, the pasta should change colour. Let's try the lemon juice. What do you think, an acid or a base? We'll take our lemon juice, dip our pH pasta in. And there's no change. So the lemon juice is either neutral or an acid.
So that's how you make pH pasta. It's really easy and it's also really fun to be able to test the chemical pH of different substances in your own home. So why don't you have a go? See what substances you can find and if you can test them to find out if you think they're an acid or a neutral or a base or an alkaline material. Make sure that you're careful with the substances that you choose to test as some of the chemicals in your house can be dangerous or harmful. So always check if you're not sure. And also, don't eat the pasta when you've finished testing. It's a silly thing to say, but you don't want to eat pasta that's been soaking in vinegar for a long time or anything a little bit more disgusting. Leave that one alone. Please send us your results. So any answers that you find from different tests on substances, let us know by either sending us a tweet using the hashtag SundayScience or you can leave a message in the comments section below.